Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, Most High. Grace, mercy, and peace to you, saints, servants of the Most High. Faithful, dearly beloved, partakers of the benefit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Peace. God desires us to be in peace. Fruit of the Spirit, peace. Right? Peace. Look at Isaiah chapter 26. Isaiah chapter 26 says that he will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in the Lord. Trust in the Lord forever for in Yah the Lord is everlasting strength. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. His desire is for us to have peace. To be free from anxiety and fear and doubt and unbelief. Faith. Faith is the substance that you have when you believe God's word. God initiates by giving us his word. And then through taking the action of believing that word, we have the substance of faith. Now, faith accesses grace and grace causes all things to be performed in our life through the power of the Holy Spirit in Christ. In Colossians chapter 3, Paul says, Set your mind on things above, not on things of the earth, because you've died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you will appear with him in glory. Therefore, put to death your members which are on the earth. Psalm 119. says in verse 161 princes persecuted me without a cause but my heart stands in awe of your word i rejoice at your word as one who finds a great treasure i hate and abhor lying but love your law seven times a day i praise you because of your righteous judgments great peace have those who love your law, the Torah, his word. Great peace have those who love your law and nothing causes them to stumble. Great peace. That's what I want. That's what he wants for you. That's what I want for me. That's what you want for you. Everybody wants peace. And that comes through the Prince of Peace. Jesus said in John chapter 14, Jesus says, In verse 27, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do, do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. The world gives a different type of peace. The world gives a peace as if there's a lack of conflict or if there is a lack of tribulation or trial. Therefore, you have the result of peace. In God, it's not the same. In chapter 16 of the book of John, verse 33, these things I have spoken to you, Jesus says, that in me you may have peace. In the world you'll have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I've overcome the world. How do you scare an individual who's defeated death? If you have an individual who's no longer scared of death, but is okay with losing what he can't keep to keep what he can't lose, then all of a sudden you have somebody who's unmovable, unshakable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Somebody whose eyes are fixed on things above, whose mind is stayed upon him. Someone who's trusting. And through this faith that you have, you're accessing grace wherein you stand. And these things through faith are then well-pleasing unto God. And we are gifted this fruit of the spirit, which was intended to us from before the foundation of the world, which is peace. It's what he wants for you is what he wants for me. Psalm chapter 29. This is good news. Psalm chapter 29, verse 10. Listen, pestilence, famines, all these things are coming. Is it the beginning of birth pangs? We don't know. 
fact of the matter is, things are going to happen. Tribulation is going to happen. He doesn't promise us there won't be tribulation. He just gives us a promise that there'll be peace in the midst of the tribulation for those that trust in him because they find everlasting strength in Yah. Look at this. Psalm chapter 29, verse 10. The Lord sat enthroned at the flood. What greater turmoil has the world ever seen? Next to the flood. The Lord at that time of the flood sat enthroned. And the Lord sits as king forever. Still hasn't changed. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Look to him. Look to him. Don't look to the, to the news or to the world or to the things of this life. Look to him. Set your mind on things above. Fix your gaze on the one who sits enthroned. The high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, who sits on the heavens and puts his feet up on the earth. The God of all flesh and in him there is nothing too hard. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 16. I'm going to end with it. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always in every way. The Lord be with you all. Amen.